Enzo Villani with Alpha Sigma Capital is with us today. He is the CEO and CIO of that fund. And it's here to explain about blockchain. And Enzo, welcome, first of all. And um, I'm your, your fund um, focuses on blockchain technology and companies, which, um, you know, I love the technology, but I still think there's a lot of questions about how to invest in it. Um, so I guess just start with like, what is your strategy with the fund? And then we'll go from there. Yeah, so uh, we we started the fund at the beginning of last year. Um, I had been been working for the last three years in blockchain full time. I bought my first um, Bitcoin back in 2014, um, and I just saw something that was really interesting. And that is, you know, as as a former Nasdaq executive, and I was, you know, I, I've been involved in fintech for a long time. What I saw in blockchain was the most efficient clearing and settlement system in the world that was basically free and open source. And the transactional opportunity uh, to, to reduce that back office cost or to, to reduce the exchange cost was, was really an unbelievable opportunity. And it started with Bitcoin, right? Um, and Bitcoin has its benefits, of course, and now it's become more of a store of value. So our fund really focuses on blockchain economy companies. Um, we focus on companies that are building new ecosystems using blockchain tech. And most of them at some level have a token. So they do trade on multiple exchanges. We are really more in the emerging growth sector. So, so this is like value investing into alts. Okay. Um, I, I would leave it at that. Um, and I can give you some, some examples, but one of the biggest opportunities is there are companies that are involved in this industry that are growing at a substantial rate. Um, they have been focused on bringing mass adoption and uh, they're also applying blockchain to things like healthcare and supply chain, as well as banking and fintech and payments exchanges, all of the things that you have heard about. Mm -hmm. How do you choose your investments? Like, first of all, how do you even find out about all the companies? Because there's so many out there <laughs> from various degrees right. of, you know, like size and security. Yeah, right. right. So, like, how do you find the ones and then how do you hone in on the ones that you choose? Yeah, so we focus on fundamentals. I mean, my background is uh, I'm a Wall Street person. I have, you know, the LPs and the GPs here are CFAs. They worked. Uh, for hedge funds, uh, they've been involved in uh, in uh, private equity and venture. So we just go back to the fundamental research question, which is, you know, who is the company? What do they do? Are they driving revenue? Are they do, do they have a real ecosystem for their token economics? Uh, what's the use case? And um, it's interesting when we first started doing this, there was no we couldn't find any good research on most of the companies, even some of the high flyers or the more well-known Silicon Valley back ones. So we started doing our own and then uh, we decided to start publishing it. Um, and we did that because we felt that there was an education that had to be done. Um, you know, we deal with family offices and people who are new to this industry. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you mitigate the risk? Is it is it a risky Business? Uh, of course. I mean, they, you know, I, I always say when, when someone says, well, what about this coin? What? I'm like, you know what? If you're really going to start in this industry, I always tell people just go to Voyager, which is one of the companies that we follow and we, we own shares in. Um, and, you know, they're like Coinbase, but they don't have any fees. And just buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of the top ones first playing in all the old coins and just trying to figure out how to play that market is, I think, um, is, is very risky. Uh, we actually build relationships with our, with the companies that we invest into. And we, when, and when we buy the token, we don't usually buy the token off of any exchange. We, we buy it from the company. So we're doing it so that they get the working capital that they need to, to continue to build their business as opposed to, me just trading on, on uh, and buying it from, from someone else. So that's the key. And by building that kind of relationship and doing research on them, we get to know more about the company. And we have backgrounds in public companies. So we try to encourage them to act as if 
they were uh, um, a public entity because they do have a large group of people that are trading their token, but they're also looking for use cases for, for that token also. Um, a great example is Celsius. Uh, Alex, uh, who's the CEO, um, he takes uh, approximately 80% of all of the profits and buys back the sell token. The, and the reason why he does that is so that it builds the value in the sell token. So if you're holding that token and you can hold it in his app and then also earn interest on it, um, it's a really great way to stake uh, or to get a yield that you would that you can enjoy without a lot of high risk and knowing that he continues to actually do that. Uh, and that's part of his business model. The other ones, you know, there are lots of walls that don't really have any business model or they're just, you know, and some of this stuff is the capital markets reinvented, right? Or some of this is venture capital 101. You know, some things are just not going to fly. Well, what I was going to ask is, so you're investing in the token but not shares. Is it kind of like a share? And if the company is publicly traded, do you invest in the share too, or instead of the token? Yes. Or how does all that work? <laughs> this kind of, you know, when we started the fund, <laughs> we started it, and I was like, um, you, you know, I'm a special cis person, or I've done actually private equity. I've worked in public equities, um, micro caps to large cap. So I've been around all of this type of thing, and I, and I was like, I don't have a crystal ball as to where the value is going to be driven. So I do like that. So when I set up the fund, I said, let's make it a multi-strat fund so we can do the, the equity, we, we can do uh, um, um, private equity, public equities, we can invest in the token, we can invest in anything that's gonna drive value. So thank you so much, Enzo. Fascinating. I look forward to hearing more about the fund. Uh, I think you're gonna be participating regularly on the on the show. So hey, thanks again. Okay. Thanks, Shane.